One of my favorite things about being a DIY ambassador is introducing folks to crafts that maybe they've been a little hesitant to try before, they've never heard before, or maybe they just thought they weren't interested in. But if you kind of tiptoe with simple projects, sometimes it kind of opens up your crafty world and I love that. And I try every once in a while with my subscription box business, Yarnier, to uh, do just that by bringing in little kits or little this is and that's that kind of push the boundaries beyond knitting and crochet. So this month, August, in our Yarnier box, we're doing just that and focusing a little bit on a, in a on embroidery using iron-on transfers by Sublime Stitching. So first off, I wanna show you what you need to get started. But before we get started, so you don't turn this video off because you're like, oh, heck no, something new. I want you to know that all the skill it takes to create really cute personalized napkins or pillowcases or really any textile is knowing how to do one stitch. That's it, just one stitch. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second, um, right after we talk about materials. So other than the transfers, you will need some kind of embroidery hoop. You can get these for like a couple bucks at a craft store. You can spend a little bit more if you want a heavy duty plastic one. Um, I would just go this route at first, honestly, and then see if you like it, and then you could invest more if you'd like to. Um, some kind of textile, um, you can do napkins. I found them either at a thrift store or at a regular retailer, or you can get them in packs, um, handkerchiefs, napkins, um, embroidery floss. And you can get either the kind that is single plied like this, or you can get the kind that has several plies. If you do this, I recommend separating it into, it has six plies, just separating it in half so it's three plies each. But that's just my recommendation, you do you. And then you need I perpetually have one of these in my, on my shirt. Then you just need an embroidery needle. And if you go to a craft store, they, they literally say embroidery needles, but it just needs to have a big enough eye for you to poke that thread through. And that is all there is to it. So now you know what you need. Let's see what you need to know to start embroidering. Embroidery 101. First, you'll need to iron on your transfer for whatever letter you choose. I chose C for my daughter and you can just follow the instructions for ironing that are included from the manufacturer. And then you'll have your lines to work with. Next you want to put your napkin or textile into an embroidery hoop. And this is important because it makes it so so much easier to work. You can embroider without a hoop, but you just, your stitches won't be quite as clean. This really makes sure that your fabric is taut, which makes it really easy to stitch in. So you just want to place it in there like so. And now you're all set up. Okay, now it is time to start embroidering. So as I mentioned at the top of this video, all you need to do to embroider um, period is no one stitch. Now you can get fancier later, but don't be intimidated. If you know this stitch, you are good to go. So we're gonna start doing um, what's called the split stitch. So you'll just pick a place to come up on your pattern and it doesn't matter where, cause you're gonna be going all the way around the perimeter. You come up through the fabric and then you'll come down a little ways after. This is just a setup. That's the only time that you are going to do that. It's also incidentally called the straight stitch, but that's not what we're doing. All right, so for the split stitch, the reason why I like this, you could also use, you could continue doing straight stitch, you could do back stitch, but I like this one um, and Jenny Hart recommends doing this one. And I believe it's because it's easier to make this one look great without it being perfect. So we're gonna come up again, but instead of coming up in a new place in the fabric, we're gonna come up in the center of the stitch we just created. And then we're going to come down a little ways out. So that's one split stitch right there. All right, let me show you again. So the next stitch we would come up 
in the center of the stitch that we just finished. And then we come down into the fabric again. And that is all there is to it. All you keep doing is that again and again and again until your piece is done. See? So now we're embroiders now. Such a cute, simple way to add a little personal touch to any textile or project. I hope you'll give it a try. If you need any help, you can always just post in the comment section and I've got you. Thanks a lot.